Hey everyone, Dave Darling here, and I have a question for you. Let's say you want to play along with an old Beatles record. Let's say it's Ticket to Ride from the uh, Help album. And you've got your instrument ready, whether it be a guitar or a piano. If it's a guitar, you've tuned it properly to a tuning fork or a digital tuner. You're perfectly in tune. You know what chords you're going to play and you start playing along with this old recording and all of a sudden you realize it sounds really bad you're not playing exactly the same notes as the Beatles it sounds awful so what's going on let's find out first of all a bit about tuning virtually all modern Western music is tuned so that the A above middle C which is also known as A4 is at 440 Hertz. Now on my little MIDI keyboard here this is middle C so this is D E F G so that's A so that's the A above middle C and if I play it it's sounding there at 440 Hertz in other words a frequency of 440 cycles per second so when I play that note the sound waves reaching your ear are vibrating back and forth 440 times a second. Now this is what 440 Hertz sounds like as a pure tone or a simple sine wave. And if I play that at the same time as the A4 on my piano, you'll hear that they sound perfectly in tune. Every other note is tuned relative to the A4 at 440 Hertz according to a system called Equal Temperament. Now I've done a whole video on Equal Temperament if you want to check it out. But what it boils down to is that the frequency ratio between every successive note and on the piano that means every black or white note is the same. Now in jumping up an octave say from A4 here to A5 here the frequency doubles so if A4 is at 440 Hertz then A5 is at 880 Hertz there are 12 notes including the black and white ones in going up an octave so the frequency of each note is the 12th root of 2 higher than the previous note if you do it on the calculator, you'll find that the 12th root of 2 is about 1.0595. So, for example, the next note above A4 here is A4 sharp. And the frequency of it is 440 times 1.0595, or about 466.2 hertz. So, if you run up the whole octave from A4 at 440 and each time you go up the frequency ratio is 1.0595 in other words you take the frequency of this note you multiply it by 1.0595 and you do that 12 times by the time you get here you'll find that you've doubled the original frequency. So A440 combined with equal temperament is the way concert tuning works. Most solo musicians and bands today tune using digital tuners. Before an orchestral concert though you'll hear all the instruments tuning to the 440 frequency as played by the oboist. That's because of all the instruments the oboe is least affected by changes in temperature or humidity. Why an A? because every string instrument in the orchestra, violins, cellos, and so on, has a string that when open is supposed to sound an A. The precise value 440 Hertz is something that came about by international agreement. ISO, the International Standards Organization, adopted it in 1955, but there have been lots of other systems, some of which are still used today for special types of music like Baroque. A common system used to be the French one, in which A4 was tuned to 435 Hertz. Now let's go back to the Beatles. 
A lot of their early songs were recorded at or about A435 instead of A440. So if you tune your guitar to concert pitch and play along with the original recording of say, Please Please Me, it'll sound off because you'll be slightly sharp. In other words, playing a slightly higher frequency relative to what they're playing. Now, if you hear A440, in other words, A4 at 440 hertz, and A435 in isolation, they're hard to tell apart. So here is A440 again. And here's A435. sound pretty much the same don't they but what if I play the two together so here's the a435 pure tone and now I'm going to play a4 on my piano that doesn't sound good at all why because what you're hearing are beats caused by the two waves of slightly different frequency interfering with each other again the number of beats per second you can hear in this case five it's just the difference in frequency between the two notes to be in tune with the Beatles on most of their early stuff you'd have to detune to around a four three five or in some cases as low as A432. In any case, several cycles per second lower than standard concert pitch at A440. Now, if you're playing on your own or with a band that's just doing a cover, it doesn't matter about doing this so long as your instruments are in tune with each other. But Beatles tribute bands that want to sound as close to the original as possible may go to the trouble of tuning down to get a near perfect match with what's on the record. Why was the early Beatles stuff not played at A440? Well, the fact is a lot of early pop and rock recordings aren't at concert pitch and for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's because the band tuned to whatever piano happened to be in the studio. So if the piano wasn't tuned to A440, neither would be the band. Some of the songs on the Rolling Stones' Exile on Main Street album aren't at A440 for that very reason. And I've heard that it may also have been the case with some of the Beatles recordings. But it's complicated. On the Help album, for instance, released in 1965, most of the songs are at or very close to 440. However, Ticket to Ride and You've Got to Hide Your Love Away are somewhere between a half step, a semitone, or a quarter step, half a semitone, below standard pitch. If anyone knows why this is, leave a comment below. The Beatles also deliberately recorded at different tunings, especially in their later albums, such as Revolver and Sgt. Pepper. In those days, everything was recorded on tape, which could be sped up or slowed down in a technique called very speeding. The Beatles would record some instruments and vocals a semitone or two away from the final mix tonality, just in order to alter the timbre or quality of the sounds that appeared on the record. They'd even sometimes go as far as recording at half speed. The solo piano part on In My Life, which is actually played by George Martin, was intentionally recorded at a much slower speed and then sped up so that Martin could avoid making mistakes. Of course, when the Beatles and other bands started playing with orchestral instruments, as they eventually did, then they had to make sure that they were tuned exactly to the conventional A440. Thanks for watching. Check out my other music and science videos on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch. See you again soon.